Hey there, everybody! Welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash. This is Spiraling Helix. Last time, we went through Cherry Lake, getting not one but two mini paint stars. One unlocking Blue Bay Beach, and the other one unlocking the Crimson Tower. Unfortunately, we can't progress in the Crimson Tower, so we're going to instead follow the bridge expert we met there back to Port Prisma. This will hopefully let us access the rest of the blue district and for once finally let us look around the whole town. Oh, yes, I was just talking about that, Huey. But this brings me to something interesting. Now this episode is going to be mostly talking about Port Prisma. So I think I'll quickly do what we have to do and then I'll head back into the port. But here we go. Check it out, I fixed the bridge. It's as good as new. Of course, you never saw it when it was new, so you'll just have to trust me on that one. Please go ahead and cross it. I love to see people enjoy my work. Um, okay. What I love is when you're on it, they, they're jumping around. If you hammer it though, oh, they hate that. And if you jump, they jump. I love that. Oh yes, this was definitely a bridge. We started over there, and now we're on this side. Um, kind of at a loss here. It was really supportive. I don't even have feet, you know. <laughs> Wait a sec, I smell paint. And not just any old paint. It's a paint star paint. Coming off a blue paint star, if I'm not mistaken. Huh, doesn't look like it's gonna be easy to get to though. How are we supposed to get up there on that roof? Well, that is a good question, Huey. So let's not miss anything I'm trying to paint and look over here first. Now, there really doesn't seem to be any way up. What happened? Did I fall asleep? The last thing I remember was that toad over there blathering on about something in his newspaper. I'm getting sleepy just thinking about it. Well, what does the newspaper toad have to say about that then? Oh, thank goodness. They didn't drain the ink from my newspaper. Do you ever read the Prisma Times? People claim that newspapers are going extinct. Before my coin, there's no better news source. If you want to know what's going on around the island or where the happening spots are, just ask me. And no, I do not want to give you 10 coins to find out what I'm meant to be doing right now. So he's basically a hint toad without looking at the manual. Can be helpful, but usually you don't need him. Oh, thank you, Mario. Here, let me offer you a drink. It's the least I can do, seeing as yeah, you saved me. I'll just grab you... A straw. I'm sorry, I can't stop thinking about all that horrible customers who drained all my colour with a straw. From now on, no more straws for anyone. Drink with your mouths, people. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't outlaw straws, because then only outlaws will have straws. Maybe I need a break. The cafe game is too intense here in the city. I need a change of scenery. Well... It's that poor fellow. Let's see if we can do something for him a little bit later. But right now, let's get to why we came here. Hate to think of how much mail piled back up at the post office. Of course, with the bridge out, maybe none piled up. Either way, you better come check for yourself, Mario. I can say without bias or hyperbole that mail is the most important thing in the world. I don't know for how important mail is, I certainly never get it on time, but maybe in this world it's a bit different. Huh, looks like the post office took a little damage in the attack. See, the sign is crooked. Um, thanks for pointing that out, Huey, I'm sure that'll be important. Hey Mario, great timing, you've got a new mail! Yo Mario, Action Toad here. Just learned how to do fire flower commands, and we already know how to do that though. And here's another one. Hello, Mario. It's the owner of the Ruddy Road Cafe. I've got a lot of free time on my hands because absolutely no customers are coming as usual. Come and hang out sometime, okay? Your friend, Barista Toad. That actually reminds me a lot of that other toad we saw. Just back there like five seconds ago. And more mail! Hey, our big bro. It's me, Luigi. You know, your brother Luigi with the green hat. Have you visited the Ringer yet? He just opened a shop in Port Prisma Harbour District. He's a bit of a shady guy, but very helpful. 
Okay, Luigi is in this game guys, it has been proven, but that's not the only way he is in this game. First of all though, excuse me Mr. Toadmaster, but we noticed that your sign is crooked. Thought you'd want to know. Crooked sign? That's a terrible sign! I can't have people thinking this is a crooked business. I'll send myself to fix it right away. Priority Mail Toad! He actually folds himself up into a piece of mail first. That's amazing. How's it look? Better? Nothing can stop the mail. Not rain, nor sleet, nor hail, nor crooked signs, nor Dragodon. Well, maybe Dragodon. But the point is that we're back on the straight and narrow. Anyway, getting back to mail. Luigi did mention a certain fellow called The Ringer. We will see him in just a moment, but I think we better check out that mini paint star up there. And just climb our way on the now straightened post office sign. Cutting out that water wheel, no! Because water wheels are great. Anyway, though, once we climb up here... <laughs> oh, it's okay, the water wheel is back. Wow, we're on... Uh, yeah, we got that, Huey. You can jump down at any time, and you can also... use that cutout any time. It won't count as any more unique cutouts, but that's one of the few reusable ones. Whoa, I've got my colour back. I better get to the old hangout spot pronto. That's another interesting thing that I don't think we'll be looking at until much later, maybe after we get our first big painster. You there, the strong looking fellow with the hammer. You seem as though you've seen a battle or two, which means you must have a battle card, or two. Please forgive the intrusion, but might I take a look at them? No! Oh come now, I just want to look at them, and also touch all of them. Sir, I must insist. Uh, definitely not now. Oh, oh, I guess we don't have a choice then. You handed over all of your cards. Oh yes, exquisite. You, sir, have the finest collection of battle cards I've ever laid my stubby fingers on. Bar none. Um, were you thinking about giving our cards back? We could be attacked at any moment. Speaking of being attacked at any moment, this is purely here to show off a new feature, actually. Are you kidding me right now? But thankfully, there is something we can do. Battle spin! Basically, back down on the gamepad, I don't have any cards left, no! But the battle spin is a nice way to get cards back in a pinch. You know what, I'll throw in 10 coins to help you out, but that's it. I can't be paying for your lifestyle. Well, thank you, Huey, for spending 10 coins. You can use the battle spin. If you want to get fancy, you can pay more coins to turn the cards around, as only the backs of them will be shown except for a certain point on this wheel. And you can also slow down the cards so I can wait for just the right moment. Now, every time you do a battle spin, there will be at least one thing card. Except it's, uh, that's not a thing card. Darn it, I meant to stop on the thing card. I don't think I could possibly mess. Please don't kill. Oh, I didn't kill, sweet. Okay, I really want to show this thing card, guys. Anyway, if you use the battle spins quite often to get the thing replica cards. Uh, oh. You're still light on coins? Bah, fine. I'll throw in another 10 to cover you, mooch. Um, thanks, Huey. My goodness, I kind of want to keep failing because of that now. Okay, let's do this properly. Um, I'm terrible at this. Hey, there we go. You got a card. And when I use this card, I don't need to paint it at all because all cards in the battle spin are already colored in. But when I use a replica card, 
There is a giant watermark over the front, but wait, we haven't even seen the fan. So I'm just gonna mash the A button because I don't know how things work. There we go. Now, things just like that are very powerful cards, but there is a difference between replica cards and not replica cards. We will get into that much later. I think the power output's roughly the same. But we've learned battle spin. Oh, incidentally, here are your cards back. Thank you for allowing me to fondle them. I don't like this toad guy. You got your cards back. I'll take my leave of you now. Thank you for sharing your wondrous battle cards with me. What an odd toad. Whatever, all's well that ends well, and learning about battle spin and getting a mini paint star count as a happy ending in my book. Yes, they do, Huey, so let's grab the mini paint star. Course clear. But don't worry, guys, that is not it for this episode, as there is still much more to cover in Port Prisma, so let's get right back into it. Oh, wait, first of all, though, where does this mini paint star take us? Well, it seems to bridge the gap to Blue Bay Beach quite nicely. It's totally not one of the reasons. Oh, wait, what? I didn't even see that I picked that up. Okay. That up there is a Rochambeau temple. After finishing a level, there is a random chance that you can collect... I did not mean to enter this level. This is Indigo Underground, by the way. We are not doing this level. I'm going back to Port Prisma. But the Rochambeau temples... I'll get into them at a much later time. I'll just let you know that they are one of the best sources for, for coins. And they kind of suck. But again, I'll get into that much, much later. Okay, so back in Port Prisma, let's head straight over here to the Blue Toad. Talk to him. Hi Mario, I'm the town banner smith. It's totally a thing. Anyway, I made some banners to celebrate your accomplishments. There are six banners in total. They represent coins, cutouts, cards, action commands, colorless spots, and wizards. Yes, this game has wizards, guys. I'll update each of them with all your most recent activities, so be sure to check them out. These are basically your completion criteria. Get 200 excellence. Pretty easy throughout the game. Perform all cutouts. This is probably the second last one you're gonna get, because these optional cutouts are very well hidden. Collect 10,000 coins. Easy. Do not worry about that one. Buy 200 cards from Prisma Cardware. Pretty darn easy, just you'll have to do it throughout the game. Repaint all colorless spots. That's probably the most fun one. And this one. Defeat all rock paper wizards. This one is the worst, by far. I'll get to that later though. Anyway, that is to do with Rochambeau. But down here, back in the port, we are finally coloring in this sign that says the Harbour District. With that, I believe we have 100% of the color spots, but who's this guy over here? He wasn't here last time. Haven't seen you around. You're not a cop, right? Because you'd have to tell me if you were. It's the law. Well, let me assure you that I've pretty much acquired most of my goods basically legally. More or less. I provide a service that allows you to take some of your favourite things and give them the old squeeze. They call me the ringer. Since you're new here, your first squeeze is on us. Now, don't worry about the ringer, I'll be just fine. See, once you get your first squeeze, you never want to let go. You're hooked. That's how I turn a profit. Enough talk. Let's get to squeezing. Um, okay, squeeze! <laughs> Yay! 
you go, plunder! The plumber's weapon of choice, push down on the shaft to unclog even the cloggiest of pipes. Wowza! You sure you haven't done this before? Now don't be a stranger. Come on back whenever you feel the need to squeeze. Once you've completed Cherry Lake, I believe this guy will appear. Now, we actually have the fan already, so he only brings up things that you don't already have, but you have seen before, or obtained before. So if I use the fan, then came back here, the fan would be available. There is also this toad who is new. Oh, hello Mario. Pleased to meet you. I knew you were Mario because I pride myself on knowing things. In addition to knowing things, I also know things, if you catch my drift. Yeah, some people call it a know-it-all, and they should, because that's my name. Now, wanna know which thing might help you right now? Yes, I do. You must seek a thing that goes plop, and keep it in your bathroom. Or you keep it in your bathroom, and you hope you never need it. I have a really special feeling about this particular thing. I think it would be just the thing for you. I sense one more thing about the thing or things you seek. You already have everything you need right now. Awesome, thank you very much. So that's basically telling me that we need the plunger to progress in the game. That also basically lets you know what the game recommends you do for the next level. But make sure you have the plunger guys. That's pretty much it. Two more things. And then we are done in Port Prisma. Down here in the yellow district, the music's changed. It's got me feeling pumping. Mario, I was hoping you'd stop by. I'm the commander in chief of the Rescue Squad Coalition. The rescue squads were formed to help those in need across the land. As the leader of the coalition, it's my job to keep tabs on each squad. Let me know if I can help you find any of the rescue squad members. Okay, so basically, Rescue HQ right here. If you have found any of the Rescue Squad Toads aside from the leader, they will return here. Once you have found the leader, then you can come here and every Rescue Squad Toad you've seen will head to that leader. At least of that same squad. Otherwise, if we find a new Rescue Squad Toad now, a purple one, in fact, he will go straight to later because he already knows where the leader is. Now, if I head in here, I just want to check something. I don't think it's available. No, it is not. We don't care about your action, Toad. But keep a nice snapshot of that room in your mind, for it will be important much later. Now, we have this shy guy over here that we never killed, but he can just hang out in Port Prisma. Same with these Goombas. They, none of them real toads really mind about them. This toad up here, though. This is why I said this pot was very special. And this toad is going to have a nice conversation right now, actually. Mario, this here is an important spot for me and my five best friends. Back in the day, the six of us used to gather here to play, tell jokes, sing songs, eat ice cream, you name it. We were the six best friends anyone ever did see. But eventually, we all got busy with our own lives, and we drifted apart. And then, out of nowhere, I get this letter from one of my friends. When flowers bloom in our old meeting spot, I'm certain we'll meet again. It was my old friend Piper who sent me the letter. He never said much, but he had the most magnetic personality. You couldn't help but love him. But it wasn't just the letter that he sent me. There was something else in the envelope. A seed! I'm gonna try planting the seed here in our old hangout. He said when its flowers bloom, we'll all be able to meet here again. I figure it's worth a shot. So this little thing here, I'm probably going to come back here after every big paint star we collect. This will develop throughout the game as we repaint some certain toads, who I will try to point out. They're pretty easy to notice. But, the one last thing I wanted to show off, I know I said two things, but we never actually came in here. 
This is the toad we started our journey with. Be careful out there, Mario! If you're running low on hanky pinky, hurry back here to rest up. Don't be a hero! I mean, do be a hero. Just, you know what I mean! Okay, but over here... Someone we haven't talked to for a long time, and also I could do with a heal. Look, Mario, isn't this a quaint room? How adorable. I hope you don't mind me resting here while you and Huey go after the paint stars. I think I speak for Mario when I say not at all, princess. Rest up. With any luck, we'll have recovered all of the paint stars before you even finish napping. Thank you, Huey. May you stay crisp in the face of crumpling adversity. Oh, you're such a sweetheart. Oh, Huey's falling for her old little tricks. That little kiss on the nose, the, the cake that's made for us. Although there is no cake, the cake is a lie, at least in this game. But with that, guys, that is everything that I wanted to show you in Port Prisma. So next time, we are going to head off to where that blue mini paint star took us, and probably to where we are going to use that plunger as well. So, I will see you guys next time in Indigo Underground. This has been Spiraling Helix. Bye bye